Good afternoon, Whidbey Presbyterian Church. My name is Greg Steibel. I'm really grateful to be uh, getting to, to, to greet you this afternoon. Um, this is the third week of Advent, which means next week is the fourth week of Advent, which means that Christmas and the Christmas season is almost here, which is really great. Um, and so most of my announcements today are actually kind of centered around that. First off, though, uh, before I get to all the Advent stuff, which is wonderful and awesome, I wanted to let you know um, from an offering standpoint, from a financial standpoint, I just heard in the session meeting tonight that November was an incredible month. You people have been incredibly generous in the month of November. Um, many pledges were paid for the full year, which is amazing, but, um, but it was an incredible. I can't underline that enough. You should check in the log that's coming out soon. You should check the uh, the stewardship report about that because the month of November was um, really incredible. You have been incredibly generous with the congregation and with special offerings. Um, really a powerful, powerful thing. So uh, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your support for this congregation. You know, uh, we're working our way into a new reality with the pandemic. And so um, it takes a lot of work and a lot of energy for our staff and for our volunteers and for the session and for our committees. Um, and so I'm really grateful for your support in that regard because we can't do this without you. You are central to what we're doing. Um, and more than that, um, your generous support, um, your offering is a gift to the Lord um, that is being used for God's grace in this world to to proclaim that light in the darkness to use some seasonal language um, in the world it's it's just it's amazing now um, speaking of that light in the darkness let me tell you a little bit about next week a couple of things are happening in the um, final week of Advent uh, first off on Monday we are going to have our service of light a pastoral time when we can come together and recognize the difficulty that this season can bring for so many of us. Um, I hope you are able to come. That's going to be at, excuse me, uh, that's going to be at 7 o'clock Monday evening. Um, and if you need help finding a ride, please let me know as soon as possible so I can help you out with that. Um, and then on Wednesday, there are still a few slots available for anyone that would like to come and join us as we carol at 2 o'clock on Wednesday at Home Place. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And then on Friday, Christmas Eve, we're going to have a worship service. Christmas Eve worship service will be at 7 o'clock. All are welcome. Tell your friends, invite your friends and family. Uh, you know, bring a packed car full of people. Remind people we do wear masks in the sanctuary, um, but we would love to have them. We'd love to have your friends and your family and your neighbors. That would be a great time to worship the newborn king. Also, we will be collecting a special offering that evening, just as we have for years and years and years on Christmas Eve. Um, this year, we are going to be giving our special offering to the um, Friday Food Pack Ministry. We create bags of food to be given to different people at different schools um, here in Oak Harbor um, for the weekend. Some families don't have food to go through the weekend, and so we provide many, many bags of uh, meals for students who can't afford meals otherwise. So the special offering that is collected on um, Christmas Eve will be going to that ministry. That'll be any loose offering, or if you write something like Friday Food Pack or Special Christmas Offering or something like that in the memo line of any checks that you might want to put into the basket. Um, or there is also the app on your phones. There's already a Friday Food Pack line there, but you can go ahead and give um, for that as well. And I, I have to say I'll thank you in advance right now for your, your generous support for that wonderful ministry that this congregation is able to provide for our community. Uh, it's really neat. Um, and then the following Sunday on the 26th, we're going to have lessons and carols, and that's going to be great. Uh, let me tell you, Terry and I were looking through all of the music today for those services, just kind of double checking everything is in, in its place. It's going to be some beautiful music, some beautiful worship time, uh, and I'm really looking forward to sharing that time with you. All of those service, all, services also will be available right here on our YouTube channel. Hey there, me from the future, I almost forgot. 
huge surprise in the sanctuary for this upcoming Sunday. So make sure to keep your eyes out and see what the big surprise could be. It's awesome. Okay. Now let me share with you a little bit of scripture. This is probably my favorite bit of uh, scripture, maybe in general, but certainly about the incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And then skipping on ahead to verse 14, and the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Friends, this season we are looking forward to the arrival of that grace and truth. And I am so grateful uh, for all that that entails. So until next time, happy continued Advent to you and peace be with you.